Hi, my lovely people. <laughs> hello, hello. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Y'all, who's on the menu today? Hmm. Hmm. Let's talk about Olivia. Why not? I mean, she just gets to have a reaction all to her own. Baby, what in the non-sanitation, non-tattooing, non-drawing, non-writing tattoo shop was going on over up in there? Baby, baby, uh-uh, you can't learn to do everything off Amazon and just order equipment. Y'all, this girl literally looks on Amazon to decide what future she wants it's like what does amazon have for me today oh look i could be pregnant oh what does amazon have for me uh today oh it's got a ged special i'm gonna be a graduate <laughs> now it's like oh look at amazon they have a piercing gun so now i'm gonna be a piercer oh no they have a tattoo gun i have to be a, a tattoo artist and who better than to do it on than her own self now, I'm going to tell y'all what I found real funny before we get into the whole tattoo scenario. What I found real funny about Olivia, right, is this right here. Her real children, Ryan, Robin, Christian, she has a whole arm piece done, right? A whole freaking arm piece done. And she is no stranger to a tattoo shop. Not one bit, not one bit. She loves being up in a tattoo or a piercing shop. So, baby, it makes no... No wonder it makes no sense that she would sit there, right, and put the smallest tattoo ever of baby AJ, the baby who does not exist, the baby who is her sister's baby, and she just calls him AJ. Doesn't that, okay, come on, come on now, y'all, y'all got to follow along with it, y'all, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm see, Olivia, if you have a whole arm piece and it's full of flowers, then that means that there is a whole petal, a whole stem over there that you can go get AJ's real name written on there. You don't have uh, Robin's name as Rob. You don't have Christian's name as Chris. You have Christian. You have Robin. You have Ryan. So you would think that you would go write the whole baby's name out on that damn family tree of a tattoo that you have. But see, that's where the funkery and the foolery comes in at. Instead, she just puts a little AJ with a little heart. And you know, you can always love your nephew. Why not? I love my nephews to death. I'm not going to get no tattoo of them. But I could also say it stands for jackass junkie. <laughs> it could be for asshole. It could stand for anything. It, <laughs> a A and a J could stand for anything, right? But y'all, I about fell out when she sat over there trying to draw. And she said, oh, my writing is so bad. Girl, you a high school dropout. You still have seventh grade writing. Like, let's make it make sense, baby. Let's make it make sense. She then put it on her ham hawk of a wrist on Instagram, showing the tattoo. She went from YouTube to Instagram. And baby, you know what? You better go and hope that you don't catch some kind of septic disease because you started off with gloves on uh-huh then you were sitting there dabbling between your boobs scratching your head then dipping your hand in vaseline putting it on your skin you were not doing anything to sanitize the situation i have never seen a tattoo artist okay and i have plenty of tattoos i've never seen an artist go and clean your skin and then take the gloves off to start tattooing honey you're supposed to keep all of that on uh-huh because you're not supposed to have germs but then again, we know she's been over Jasmine's house and she done caught the COVID crabs and the balding eagle disease. So, hey, it's already going through her bloodstream. Baby, I'm telling y'all, I laugh, 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 laugh. I said, this fool, she talking about making history. We over here tattooing ourselves. I thought to myself, yeah, you're going to make history. You're going to be the first woman on YouTube that gave herself uh -huh, a blood infection, septic disease, and gave herself a funky tattoo of a fake baby. Yes, Olivia, you have now broke the record and been the first to be the most wildest, wackiest dildo head. Congratulations. Okay, now we're going to switch gears, guys, because I know a lot of us are not realizing that Olivia has been doing a lot of posting over on Glam Mama. Okay, on Glam Mama, she's trying to do her makeup, trying to do her fashion. <laughs> Shoe hauls, sheen hauls, them hauls, they hauls, uh, everything, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you why I incorporated this in this video. 
because Olivia is over there getting away with a lot of foolery that she's pulling over on Glammama. Just take a look. Just take a look. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I ain't no skinny mini. But when this girl gets on here and start talking about people that's bad body built, you know, that's what she calls all the reactors. Bad body built, bumpy, uh, dumpies, and everything else. Hante, Olivia, what kind of build is this, sweetheart? What kind of build is this? Uh-huh. You got booty, do. Your belly stick out further than your booty do. I mean, that's just a common problem that a lot of women have. So, honey, when you say bad built, I'm not understanding. Your cantaloupes are sitting a little bit low. Y'all, she put on a bathing suit. Two of them, matter of fact. I couldn't even put the screenshots on here because uh, I did not want to get a copyright or something like that because of the way it was hanging, swinging, and dangling. But, baby... Baby, no, she don't call nobody bad bill. She was rubbing on them cantaloupes so much and smelling on them. I was like, God, is this smell vision She was bouncing them around. Y'all, if y'all have not seen that video, y'all need to go over and watch it because it is freaking hilarious. If she touched them one more time, I was going to jump through the screen. Do you hear me? Because that's all she did. So let's get back on this. When she turned around, I thought, holy moly, flat. Uh-huh. Somebody must have put a needle in that dude and gave it the old flat. Then from the front, honey, why do you look like your kneecaps are smiling? Your kneecaps are so big and wide and swollen and lymphedema felt. Baby, it looked like they smiling. Look like you got a whole face in them kneecaps, baby. Uh-uh. So you know what? The least thing, uh-huh. And y'all know I don't talk about nobody or no shape. But when I watched that video, I thought to myself, Olivia, and you out here saying that only the people that hate on you are bad body built, baby. If these screenshots don't prove, honey, let me tell you something. Thank God for some of the tattoos you got because they are truly, truly, truly hiding uh -huh, stretch marks and everything else on your arms and your neck. Because, baby, uh-uh. See, if you wouldn't have came this way talking about reactors, then I wouldn't have came this way talking about you. Because, honey, you look like one outfit was for a school teacher, the next one was for a farmer, and then the other one was something that you only wear at home and pretend it's a nightgown. And if you're wondering which one I'm talking about, I'm talking about that Care Bears uh, dress. That's something you don't wear out in public, honey. That's something you throw on at home when you're going to clean. Y'all know how we find them dresses, and they just don't fit well. <laughs> and we use them as a house gown. Uh-huh, let them get a little dirty. That's what you should use with that Care Bear one. Because, honey, we don't know what kind of style or fashion you was going for with that try-on haul. See, this is the thing that y'all not realizing. Olivia knows that her channel is so up and down and so messy and it's being watched by judges, lawyers, and everything else that she is deciding that she wants to keep one channel clean. So her Glam Mama channel is a channel that she's trying to keep clean. She's trying to just do fashion and hope that she can get her some... Um, sponsors and things of that nature but baby <laughs> if y'all go over and watch the stuff she is over there doing oh my goodness it cracks me up i just wanted to point that out because you know she did go on a rant on instagram and she's constantly saying that we are hating on her because she is the ish and we are not you know when i say we i'll, I'll have she does not ever say a name right it's always subliminal so i have to say reactors so, I always stand up for myself, girl, when you say reactors. Uh-huh, baby. Honey, Olivia, I ain't seeing nothing that you got that I ain't got. We both live in an apartment. Uh, my car is newer and owned. Uh, let's see. I have custody of my child. Um, I don't have no ex-husbands. And, honey, the build is almost the same. Except for my stomach is smaller. So, I'm trying to figure out what you got that we, we won't. Well, at least me. I don't know about the weed, but at least me, right? Y'all, we had to talk about this and catch up, right? So, I'm just trying to figure out... <laughs> when is she going to get on here and say that the tattoo is affected? I'm waiting. Let's give it about a week. And that tattoo going to be itching, scratching, and burning. Do you hear me? And we're going to sit back and we're going to laugh and we're going to be like, Ooh, better business bureau report. <laughs> but... I don't know who's going to let her give them a tattoo. She could never tattoo me. Y'all can tell me in the comments if you would get a tattoo, even if she got a license or whatever. But we had to check in on the foolery over here in the Olivia crew and comment on it, okay? Now, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful evening. Also, I'll be going live soon. See you there.